Nothing like the Dallas skyline, especially at night, but you might notice some changes to that iconic view in just a few years. The Dallas City Council have just voted this afternoon to give tax breaks to developers. So our Nick Starling is showing us what these projects will look like and how it all impacts you. Because, I mean, the skyline in Dallas is one of the most amazing things. People have tattoos of it and stickers of it on their cars. They may have to add a couple more buildings to their stickers or tats as Dallas's skyline is moving on up. Here's a rendering of what this 80 story tower is expected to look like with its main tenant, Goldman Sachs. It will be sandwiched between the American Airlines Center and the Perot Museum. I think it's good for the city. I think it's good for Texas. The density is good to see. So, you know, anytime we're growing like this, it's, it's good to see. However, some who live near here have some reservations. I'm okay with the density as long as it doesn't impact the local traffic, and I think that's exactly what's going to happen. A city official says this will bring in 5,000 high paying jobs. The second project is right next to City Hall, called One New Park, and will be 38 stories high. It will be a mix of office space, hotels, retail, and apartments. Councilman Tanel Atkins touts the economic benefits this will bring to the city. I think you look at the property value, you know, billions of dollars profit value, you know, millions of dollars worth of uh, um, permits going, but also jobs, the jobs, tens of thousands of jobs. And that's what you got to build. That's what the city build on your property tax and your sale tax, the housing. However, some council members felt the tax breaks like 17 million towards the Goldman Sachs Tower weren't necessary. I feel that there are much better uses for this $17 million subsidy of a public corporation that would better serve our taxpayers. But it ultimately was passed. No business in today's market going to be a 100% private investment. We're not building for today, we're building for the future. City leaders say the groundbreaking for these buildings could be later this year or next. In Dallas, Nick Starling, CBS 11 News. Nick, we thank you.